No, Superior Court. Good morning, Boston. Well, I'll do it. I can recite that file in my sleep. Hey, Mom. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk to you at the office. All right. Whoa, there's going to be an eclipse night at 748. Major whoop. I bet it'll be too cloudy to see. Oh, well, maybe this time you'll be lucky. It has nothing to do with luck. It has to do with the weather. Oh. Hello? She's having breakfast. I'll tell her you called. That was for me. Eat. Well, who was it? Scott. You'll see him at school. See your boyfriend. She's too young for a boyfriend. Morning, troops. Did you call Mason? Yeah, the meeting's at five. Five. Sorry. Tell you what, you cook for me tonight and I'll take an extra night next week. That leaves you about a hundred behind. Well, can't you go to the gym tomorrow? That's not the point. It's my one night off. Look, I can't get out of this, M. I need the go-ahead. My crew's just sitting there. I'll make it up to you. What else is new? Oh, uh, brown jacket. Hall closet. Thank you. I want a chronology of Shannon. The best I can do is Wednesday. I need it Monday. You got the weekend. But I've got Lifson on priority. Lifson can wait. Not without Olivia's approval. No rush. Anytime next week. You tell Olivia I'm meeting those idiots on Tuesday. I need a day to review. Oh, uh, make sure Mendelssohn's calendar. That's done. Check it. I don't want any mistakes. There aren't any. I've done it myself. Check it again. No. Excuse me? I'm sorry. It's just... I've got too many files to check on something that I know is okay. I'm a lawyer. You're the paralegal. Check it. Yes, sir. Why do you take that from him? Oh, like I have a choice? Go back to law school. Yeah, in all my spare time. Emma Burke? Yes? When? She did. That would be fine. Thank you. You okay? Lily died. The woman who raised me. I'm sorry. I didn't even know she was sick. If you are reading this, that means I am gone. I'm hoping it's later rather than sooner. But whatever it is, it's my time. So no, I have gone peacefully. Raising you was a joy. And as it turns out, the best thing I did with my life. I hope I've done your mother and father proud. You certainly have. Don't be upset with me for not telling you I was sick. I didn't want to be a burden. And I want you to remember me the way I was. I know how busy you are, but I have a last request that only you can fulfill. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. I want you to take my ashes back for burial on my family's land in Kauai, to take part in a Hawaiian ritual, a Ho'oponopono. If you do that for me, then I'll have left nothing unfinished on this earth and can rest easy. Love to you, little one. Lily. We got the go-ahead on the project. That's great. You're not kidding. 
The guys can start on Monday. I don't know what I would have done if they turned me down. Lily died. Oh, him. I'm sorry. It was ovarian cancer. I didn't even know she was sick. Why didn't you tell me? You weren't really that close anymore. Just because we didn't see each other doesn't mean we weren't close. We talked, we made plans, but something always seemed to come up for both of us. I should have been there. Relationships change. If she'd really needed you, she would have called. That wasn't her way. Emma, for whatever reason, she chose not to tell you. If she had, you would have been there. She didn't give you the option. She asked me to take her ashes home. Home where? Where her family is. Kauai. That's a 12-hour flight. It was a last request. I have to go there at some point. When? No disrespect to Lily, but you're working 10-hour days. The kids have to be driven. The new bathroom's about to go in. I can't supervise any of that. I've got a building going up. I know. It's inconvenient. Going over to Joey's now. Okay, have fun. Dad? Neil? Back in the 50s, when the French were in Vietnam. Can't you ask normal questions like, why is the sky blue? I already know the answer to that one. That makes one of us. Go tell your sister breakfast is ready. He's still in bed. Up, right now. I'm tired. I don't care. What's the big deal if I'm there or not? We're a family. Sunday mornings, we have breakfast together. Oh, and so for the rest of the week, we just fend for ourselves? I'm not fighting with you today. This isn't fighting. It's talking. You want to talk? We'll talk at the table. You've got five minutes. And don't make me come up here again. Will you turn that down?
Yeah. Uh, delivery for Amelia Burke. Yeah, sure. And his signature. Mm -hmm. What is it? That's from Grayson's son. Hmm? The crematorium. Oh, thanks. What is it? Lily's remains. What's a remain? Her ashes. In there? Can I see? No. See what? Lily's in there. That's enough, Neil. It's gross. Are the bones in there too? Neil. What's left of them? How do they do that? Neil, that's what do enough. You think? Stop it. I'm taking her home. Honey, they didn't mean anything. I'm taking her home. gonna stop pouring. You waiting for a ride, miss? Yes. From one of the hotels. Want me to call? No, thank you. I'm Lily's nephew, Kala. Kala, where's your head? Apologize to the pretty lady for making her wait. I'm sorry, Emma. Lily Emma? It's a pleasure. Welcome. Oh, no, uh, it's the urn. He knew who I was. Small island, no secrets. They don't have rain like this in Boston. Yeah, it gets worse. Probably will. Can you see all right to drive? I'm driving. Because I can't see the road. It's a good thing you're not driving. Will you slow down, please? Thank you. I thought you'd be older. Why? I don't know. I've heard your name forever. I remember thinking what a big life you had. So different than growing up here. You heard about my life? Small island. No secrets. None? Camp Mojica. Some guy with braces. What else do you know? No, forget it. I don't want to know. Probably was. This is it. You got Lily's house. Lily had a house here? Since she was 18. My grandfather built two of them. One for each daughter. But Lily didn't stick around. Power's out. This should hold till morning. Don't worry, you'll be all right.
Aloha. Good morning. I didn't hear your truck. That's because I walked. I got my mother's old house. I didn't think it would look like this. Welcome to paradise. It is paradise. I'd get up to the big house if I were you. I'm sure mom's waiting. Hello? Welcome. I'm Kei Hao. Emma, it's good to finally meet you. I'm sorry it's under these circumstances. I don't mean to stare, it's just... You look so much like Lily. Of course. She was my sister. Breakfast is on the table. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Coffee? Please. Slap uh, comfortably? Yes. A little rain came in through the roof. Not that it matters. Did I not put Lily's roof on the list? I ran out of time. I'll get to it. Soon, before the next rain. Oh, no, thanks. I don't really eat breakfast. You do now. I was looking at the field by the house. I've never seen so many flowers. Yeah, this is a flower farm. You sell to the hotels? Well, it was years ago. We branched out since then. We mostly sell to perfume manufacturers. We're also trying to grow native medicinal plants. Speaking of which, I'm late for work. Enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> See ya. <clears throat> Thanks, Mom. Mwah. He runs the farm. For now. A mainlander bought the property next door. He says he's going to farm, but he said the same thing about some land on Maui, then built houses. That's progress, I guess. Overdevelopment is progress. It's stealing our way of life. I didn't mean it was right. We could lose everything. I don't understand. The water we use runs through that property. If he builds, it will cut off our water supply, and the farm will die. He can't do that, can he? We are looking into it. Julia is. Julia? She is our partner on our farm. She lives next door. She's a lawyer? No, we cannot afford one. I understand. You are a lawyer. Oh, no, I'm just a paralegal. Oh, I don't know how much help I could be, but I'd be glad to look at the paperwork if you'd like. We would appreciate it. Julia had a difficult life. Just remember, she means well. Julia, this is Emma Burke. She's going to help. How dare you do this to me? We need help, and she's offering it. I'm declining. It is not your decision. What is it you want? For starters, what documents exist, permits, copies of state and local codes. I'll make copies of what I have, and I'll drop them off. I want Emma to see the property. I'm busy. No, I don't have to see it. She has to know what is at stake, and my car will not make it up that hill. Have you met Kala? 
He picked me up at the airport. How many acres? Twenty-four. Oh, that's the source of our water supply. Your family, are they here? I came without them. Is there any way to redirect the water if they build? Not that we'd be able to afford. Um, it looks like there's nothing to stop them from building if that's what they want to do. Uh, unless the archaeology report comes back positive. Positive? Showing that there's a native burial site on the property. Your children, they must miss you. Oh, I doubt it. My husband lets them get away with murder. <laughs> you must miss them. Actually, I'm enjoying the time by myself. Does that sound awful? I I'm not qualified to say. It would be a shame to build anything up there. Amen to that. It's so different here than living in Boston. You wake up to sunshine every morning. There's flowers everywhere. It's just like Lily said. Her ashes. I should have brought them. No. Let her stay in her house for now. I'm not ready to see her like that. Part of Lily's last request was that I help with the Hopono on Monday. No, the service is on Monday. The Ho'oponopono is something else. It means to make things right. You talk until you each forgive. I don't understand. Lily should have told you. It is the one thing we ever really fought about. She did not want you to know your father could do such a thing. My father? He was a cold man. No, he wasn't. Not to me. Maybe so. But he treated others cruelly. You didn't know him? Oh, yes, I knew him. Years ago, when he was stationed on this island, I wished he had never come. What are you talking about? Your mother, Lily would not tell you. Julia is your mother. My mother's dead. No. What's the matter? I don't want to talk about it. Are you okay? No. My mother's alive. She's here. What? She lives right next door to Lily's family. Well, that's crazy. What? How can that be? I'm booking the first flight out tomorrow morning, and I'll call you and let you know what time. Hey, hey, hey don't hang up yet. Are you all right? I'm fine. Emma. I've got to go. Remember, I'm here if you need me. Thanks. Did you know about Julia? Yes. And the man at the airport, he knew too. Everybody here knows. Oh, that's right. 
Small island, no secrets. Why didn't anyone ever tell me? Not Lily? My father? Ask Julia. I'm asking you. It's not for me to say. So you can talk behind my back, but you won't tell me to my face? It's Julia's place to explain, no one else's. She's the last person I'd ask. And you'll never know. I've changed my mind. I've decided to stay. Um, I'll, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Love you. Em? Em? Talking? Why wouldn't we be? No, you weren't too happy with me yesterday. I'm sorry. It wasn't you. I didn't take it personally. I knew you were hurting. You still are. It's all these years she was alive. I feel so betrayed. I don't think anyone meant to do that. Their intentions were good. But that's what happened. I don't know what to do. The good news is, you don't have to do anything. At least today, or tomorrow. Is that the island way? No, that's the Kalal way. You know what you need? You get in the water. It's healing. I'm not the best swimmer. I am. I better get back. We have to talk. No, we don't. I understand that you're upset. Upset? That's the understatement of the year. Try devastated. Look, I need to explain no, myself No, you don't get to, to need anything from me. I don't want anything to do with you. I don't want to know you. Ever. Thank you. 
idea what time it is. Sun's up. I wasn't. It's not even six o'clock. They're forecasting rain. And I hear you're not the best swimmer. You heard right. Did Neil get breakfast? Yeah. The carpool already picked him up. Uh, well, I got a meeting that's gonna run late. Can you order pizza or something for the two of you? Sure. Great. I'll be home around 10, and I'm trusting you to get Neil to bed. Not soon enough in my book. Okay. I'll see you later. Later. The file. You said you'd bring it over. I haven't had time to make a copy. Give it to me and I'll make copies. Oh, please come in. Has the buyer applied for any permits yet? Not as of a week ago. Emma, I didn't leave you. I was 19, I was naive, I'd never been off this island, and if your father had just stood up to his family... My father died 10 years ago. Where were you then? By then it was too late. No, that was a window. Now it's too late. May I have the file, please? A use permit was applied for last Friday. That means the archaeology report is done. Yeah. I'd like a copy of both. Uh, sure. But I have to order them. They were filed in Honolulu. How long will that take? A day, maybe two. Tell them it's a rush. Thanks. Buy you a drink? A beer. The sandwich is good too if you're hungry. Excuse me. I like this place. Yeah, it's old Hawaii. The way it used to be. Uh, here you're gonna be helping us. I'm gonna try. Thank you. Wait to see if I get results. I don't need to wait. Thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me. You still have the mainland sickness. The what? You want everything now. It's the Haole way. See, people come from the mainland in a hurry like yourself. The island restores them and they want a piece of the magic. So they buy up native land to build mansions that get used once a year. Last time I checked, I wasn't buying up your land. You go, Kala. You're right. <clears throat> I forgot who I was talking to. Guess we both have our sore spots. I guess we do. It's just, um, I worry what's gonna be left to give to my son. What's his name? Billy. He's 15 going on 30. <laughs> Lives with his mother right now. But he might be coming to stay with me. She can't handle it. Give him to Kay How. <laughs> she could probably handle anything. You got that right. Mr. Burke. What the hell are you doing? Um, 
you out of here. And if I ever see you again, I will beat the living crap out of you. You said you'd be home at 10. It's a good thing I got home now. You could have been pregnant by 10. You we weren't doing that. You shouldn't have been doing anything. You are 15. Surprise. You know my age. I know everything about you, including give you an inch, you take a mile. The only thing that I take around here is abuse. You don't like my hair, my clothes, my friends. So change them. This is who I am! <laughs> you should learn to laugh more often. It looks good on you. Well, it's good to have something to laugh about. And with all you're going through, I bet it is. Thanks. That was fun. Fun is good. But tomorrow I'm gonna show you something that's gonna change your life. It's an island secret. A secret? Yeah. I'll pick you up at dawn. Is it just you, or does everyone here get up when it's still dark? Just... Where have you been all night? I was in town, I forgot my phone. I got home and found Jamie with a boy. Her shirt was undone. You've got to talk to her. Well, I'm not there. She's your job. She's not a job. Well, I can't handle her. When are you coming home? I'm not sure. Well, when's the funeral? It's Monday, but I told you I'm helping with the land problem. Emma, we've got problems here. Or maybe you want to be a grandmother in the near future. Hey, don't lay that off on me. You're there, you're her father. Act like one. I'm trying. I'm staying through next week. Okay. Miss you. Me too. This is our family's most sacred spot. I remember Lily telling me about this. She and Kehau used to come here, make a prayer, and leave a flower. You remember well, but this isn't where I was taking you. You believe in magic? Get there, we swim around the rock, dive down through a tunnel, then we come up inside the blue room. You want me to swim underwater and come up in a cave? Yeah. Are you out of your mind? It's not as bad as it sounds. How could it be worse? A rock slide while we're in there? Fish with teeth? Relax. I'm from the city. I don't relax as it is, let alone the whole Captain Nemo thing. I'm serious, Claude. It's too close to the rocks. I've done this a million times. So is k Hao and half the kids on this island. Well, they can swim better than me. You're safe with me. I promise. before I change my mind. Let's go. It feels good. Am I out of my mind? Calm down. Emma, breathe. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. 
You look good, what? You really not look good, huh? Okay. This is the blue room. Where's the blue? Honey, guess what? We're on our way. Okay. I was afraid, but I went in anyway. That's not like me. That doesn't fit. You don't strike me as someone who scares easily. I didn't used to be. Now I'm worried about everything. Why my daughter's so unhappy? Does my son have enough friends? Does plastic cause cancer? You seem to worry about everything but yourself. The world doesn't revolve around me. Sometimes it ought to. Hmm. Bad chance of that ever happening. What do you want? I want a lot of things. That doesn't mean I should have them. But you can have this moment, if you want it. Surprise! Well, you didn't get my message. You check them all the time. I'm having a hard time getting a signal up here. We are 2,390 miles out in the Pacific. Wow. Keha said the kids could sleep in the big house. I thought you and your husband could use some time alone. Good. Okay, kids, let's get your bags up to the house. Emma's family is here. Come to dinner. You know I can't. This needs to end. It ended a long time ago, until Lily sent her here. She, she was trying to help. What, by breaking my heart? By trying to mend it. Please, leave me alone. What's that? Hoy, it is made from a root. Sorry we're late. Come on. Billy! Mm. This is my son, Kala. 
and my grandson Billy. This is Emma, Mike, Neil, and Jamie. Okay, pass everything. I'm starving. Now that I have you all together, I need help making lace for Lily's service. It would be you three. I don't know how to do that. Hello. Don't worry, I will teach you. I didn't know that you had company. I'm sorry. Oh, I should have told you. I don't know what I was thinking. This is uh, Emma's family. Julia lives next door. And makes the best macaroons on the island. <laughs> Join us. We had to take two planes. Really? Was it your first flight? My first and second. Of course. And when you go home, it will be your third and your fourth. Yeah. Neil? Your food's getting cold. Have you felt a trade wind? I don't know. What is that? I'm not sure. They happen in tropical places. Ah. Well, then I must have felt one and I didn't even know it. I missed you, Mom. So, what do you think? Of what? The island. I guess it's all right. For paradise. <laughs> you laughed. That was funny. You don't usually get me. I get a lot more than you think I do. I'm glad to see you. What are you doing? I'm looking at my beautiful daughter. Except for the hair and the piercings. Why don't you like Julia? Who said I didn't? Was it Scott? What? On the sofa. Ugh. We were just kissing. You sure you're ready for sex? <laughs> Hello, we were kissing. I like him. Okay, just make sure you don't go too far. I want you safe. Are you done? Yes. What a nice surprise, your family coming all this way to see you. Yes, isn't it? I like to mind my own business, but I'm going to give you my two cents anyway. Julia deserves a chance. You should talk to her. That's never going to happen. You are as stubborn as she is. I'm nothing like her. What happened was a lifetime ago. Yes, my lifetime. And I'm talking huge. Best she ever had. Oh no, Mahi, Mahi, Gruber. Mm. Now I'll take you out if you'd like. I haven't been fishing for years. I would love to. I think I'll turn in. Oh, okay. I'll go with you. Maybe tomorrow. The weather's good. Great. Good night. Good night. He's a nice guy. Kay has a trip. I like her. Didn't expect to see Julia. I look at you every day. You are so beautiful. 
the island seems to agree with you. do here if you're not into water or trees? <laughs> not much. There's more going on in Honolulu. That's where I live. But I might be coming to stay here. Part of a tough love program. What'd you do? Got caught breaking into a house. Why'd you do that? Why not? So how long have your parents been divorced? They aren't. That's not good. Why? Your mom's been hanging out with my dad. Maybe. But not that way. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure. That way. from my family. Well, good morning to you, too. I mean it. Stay away. I ruined my life letting your father and your grandfather tell me what to do. And I, I don't give that power to anyone anymore, not even you. My father isn't the one who left. You were. I was pushed out. I don't care enough to listen. Emma, you're a coward, just like I used to be. You don't know the first thing about me. It was your grandfather. I wasn't good enough for his Ivy League son. I don't care. I could leave with a settlement or with nothing. Either way, I couldn't take you. Well, I hope they made it worth your while. There's not enough money in the world that could pay me for what I gave up. Then why did you? You could have stayed. You could have seen me. Well, maybe I could have, but they said I couldn't. And, and things were different back then. They were the ones with the money and the, the lawyers and the power, not me. So you gave away the only thing you really had. Me. I'm going for a nap. It's only 9.30. Yeah? Well, that makes it uh, 3.30 Boston time. Okay, I'll find someone else. How was your walk? It was good. Is Emma back from her run? She did not go. She went into town with Carla. Oh. Uh, you know where? The county building. The reports they were waiting for came in. Thanks. They didn't find anything. Uh, that can't be. That land was lived on for generations. Maybe not in the last hundred years, but there has to be a burial site up there somewhere. The state is satisfied. The land isn't sacred. What about the use permit? Well, the wording is vague, but there's a clause giving them the option to build. How many houses? Two? Four? It just says multiple dwellings. Son of a bitch! You said you were going to farm. Changed my mind. I've done nothing illegal. It's not your land. Well, fortunately for me, it is. Hold on, no! Emma.
So, what's the deal? You have something with him? No. Almost. You gone two minutes in. There was a moment. He just made me feel alive. And free. Like I wasn't me anymore. Well, you are you. With people depending on you. I know. I don't want to lose you. But I feel like I've already lost myself. I wake up every morning and go to a job I hate to support a life that doesn't even feel like it's mine anymore. We're all so busy going our own ways. I don't know what matters anymore. You matter. You're the woman I love. You're smart, you're funny, you're... You're beautiful, and you're strong. And a long time ago, you fell in love with me. Don't fall out of love, Emma. Please don't. Are there volcanoes here? Not active ones. At least on Kauai. Why did they become inactive? Because the gods were not angry anymore. That's not scientific. Not everything is. How come Lily had a house here and never came back? She was planning to, but wanted to stick close to Emma. My mom? Yes. You find that surprising? Oh well, yeah, considering they hardly saw each other. Of course they saw each other. Not so much. Are you sure? Yeah. <sighs> One more to go. You want to help? Why would you say that about my mom and your dad? Because I know him. Yeah, well, I know my mother. Whatever, you know. I hate this place. All I do is work. And for no pay. Money must be tight. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if they'd sell these fields. They're worth millions. Bet you'd like your cut. I would if I had one. She'd give you something. She's not that tight. Who? You don't know. Know what? Julia's your grandmother. She married some guy here, went back with him to Boston. Didn't work out. Except for having your mom. That's why Lily moved there. To bring her up. So Lily just gave everything up and went? They were best friends. Like sisters. It sounds weird, but it's very Hawaiian. A lot of times, the grandparents or a relative will bring up a kid. Why? Economics. To pass down the culture. A lot of reasons, but bottom line, kids here belong to the whole family. Is it true? She's your mother? Yes, and before you accuse me of withholding information, I just found out myself. When? Five minutes ago? That's my business. I don't answer to you. I'm the adult. I hate you. The happy family picture you paint? I'm not even in it. I'm always last. No, you're not. You blow me off, just like you do everyone else. Hey, I don't blow anyone off. No? How about Lily? Stop it. No, you stop it. Lying to everyone, including yourself. Do you know why Lily never moved back here? Because she wanted to be close to you. That's not true. She stayed in Boston for you, and you didn't even care. You don't care about anyone but yourself. You know, I've tried to be who you want me to be. But I give up. I'm not smart like Neil. Jamie. Why didn't you have time for me? 
you did for Neil and for your stupid job and Daddy. Well, at least that's before you started sleeping with Kala. What? Billy told me. You're doing everything you accused me of. Well, Billy's wrong. And I'm your mother. You don't talk to me that way. I'm never talking to you again. But I will be talking to Dad. Get out of here. No, no, wait. I'll leave. I was never very good at being a mother anyway. Maybe it's genetic. Is that what you want, Jamie? Me gone? Well, you've got it. Mom! So, you're my grandmother. So, why are you here? Obviously to check you out. It's not every day you find out you have a grandmother. In lineage only, I, I carried your mother, nothing more. That's cold. It's a fact. I gave her up six months after she was born. Why? That's not something I'm going to discuss with you before your mother and I have had a chance to talk. You haven't talked? No. Can I ask a question about you? You may. My grandfather. Did you love him? Very much. Did he love you? At one time I thought he did. He never got married after you. I heard, but it wasn't something I wanted to know. Why not? I didn't want to know about anything. Not even about my mom? It wasn't my life anymore. But it was. It is. You know, I'm not some random person who came knocking at your door. You're connected to me. You helped make me. I'm out of here. Oh, please don't go. I'm, I'm sorry. I have no right to be talking to you like this. I should have turned you away. That's what Emma would have wanted, but I, I couldn't. I want to know you. Okay, Hal. I'm sorry. For what? For keeping Lily from coming home? It's her choice, not yours. But you must resent me. 
I did. But I understood. In her eyes, you were her child. But from what I heard, you neglected her. I was so wrapped up in my own life. And I always thought there would be more time. She was my only sister. I needed her. You didn't know. I loved her so much. I'm sorry. Too late. Why don't you just go away? Malama Aumakua. Why did you hear that? Today. On the mountain. It was Lily. That is impossible. She was there. That was something my grandmother used to say over and over. What does it mean? Keep our family close. I was the oldest daughter. That was my job to keep the family together. to let you believe that Lily did not come back because of you. It's not true. At first, yes, but later, she did not come back because she liked the mainland. I felt betrayed. All of the family responsibility was on my shoulders. We had words. Things were never right between us again. She loved you so much. I know. The one thing Lily regretted was keeping you and Julia apart. But she promised Julia never to tell. That is why you are here. She's trying to make things right. Ho'oponopono. It's up to you. Do we want to make things right? Hey. You and the dinosaurs? I used to want to be a paleontologist, but I'm leaning toward astronomy now. <laughs> Does that mean you want to see some fossils or not? Yeah, what kind? kind that are in the ground. We're going to a fossil site. You want to come? It's hanging around here. Go far. A storm is blowing in. Okay. How much farther is it? Just up that hill. Are the kids with you? No. A cave! I'm not going in there. You will if you don't want to get wet. I've never been in a cave before. What did I tell you? So where are the fossils? She, uh, I don't know. Why don't you try right there? Oh, cool. Look at this. 
Pretty cool, huh? We call it Malalani. It means protected by heaven. Neil, can you just get your stupid fossil so we can get out of here? Here's one, a fish. It smells in here. And rain's getting in. Yeah. It's really coming down out there. Here, hold this. What are you doing? I've got some candles up here. losing time here. He will be here any second. You said that five minutes ago. Mike, Mike, you don't know the mountain. My kids are out there. Just show me which way they went. I can't. I don't know. Damn it. Thanks for hurrying. My son's out there, too. I'm going with you. No. Mom, you stay here. Find them. I don't know. I'm gonna go get Dad. Please don't leave me here. You'll be fine. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Jamie! Billy needs you, Neil. Knows the mountain. Come on, back. Go.
love you. It's okay. Come on. We're here today to honor the life of Lily Noy, a life filled with humor, joy, compassion, love, and a reverence for family so profound, she gave up her life here on Kauai to follow her heart and to honor a pledge to her friend who she loved so dearly. The lesson for us is that love is not finite. It has no conditions. Its only requirement is that we put others before ourselves. That's how Lily led her life. A true friend, sister, and mother. My dear, sweet Lily, I could never repay you for what you did for me, ever. I made some foolish choices in my life, but I know I did the right thing by choosing you to raise my little girl. You did a great job. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. She was one of a kind. Listening to a confessional, that's not very polite. I understand why you let me go. But it still hurts. I want you to know I went back for you. 
Two years later, I hired a lawyer. I'll never forget that first glimpse of you. You were in the sandbox at the park. You had on these little yellow shorts and a matching hat. And you were laughing. And you were having the best time. And then you ran to Lily. And she scooped you up and she hugged you and she kissed you. And I realized right then and there that I couldn't take you away from your mother. Not again. Yes, I left. I left the first time because I was weak. But I left the second time because I was strong. Thank you. For Lily. So, what now? I go back with my family my life. Can I, can I call you? I'm not going anywhere. told me the good news. The land is safe. Yeah. The bones in the cave are authenticated. The developers aren't going to build. A happy ending. Don't go, Emma. I know that you have a different life away from here. <laughs> but I have feelings for you that I've never had for anyone. You help me to see things differently. Then see me. Because you and I belong together. I belong with my family, Kala. That's who I am. You feel that? That's you. That's who I am. Mahalo. You're welcome.